This scary video captured an inhuman humanoid figure lurking over a human habitat, and it has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. Taken in someone's backyard, you first see a pool with trees beyond. It looks as though the cameraman is searching for something in the foliage. He then turns to the roof of the home. The roof at first seems to be empty, but when the cameraman turns completely to the right, this terrifying figure is spotted. Its fleshy skin is a raw, sunburnt pink, its limbs are somewhat elongated, its shoulders are hunchbacked, and its pinhead is on a neck that's uncannily long. The creepiest part of it is that the figure is looking right at him. It stays still for a second, its eyes glowing as it watches the unsuspecting cameraman, before leaping with cat-like reflexes over the other side of the roof and out of sight. If this footage is real, then I have no idea what this thing possibly was. Sometimes you come across video footage on YouTube that just gives you a strange, unsettling feeling in the pit of your stomach, despite appearing relatively harmless. This clip is one of those types. Abner H7 posted the video titled Movo10 to Reddit. The clip begins with an emergency warning sound and reads, Please hold, playback will begin. A dark screen appears to show the woods at night. The phrase hollow was alive flashes scratchily on the screen for a moment, leaving viewers to wonder what that hollow lie is. The walk through the dark forest starts to morph into an unsettling funhouse mirror. The leaves on the ground sway and distort. Another phrase flashes across the screen, reading, They are making it real. Who are they? What is being made real? We are left to guess. Continued shots of the leaves, branches, and grass in the darkness are replaced, suddenly by a shot of the moon. Then one more message appears, Help us. The clip then ends with another high-pitched sound, an official message indicating the playback is complete. What does this creepy clip mean? And why is this YouTube channel full of them? Warning, don't enter a dark and disturbing abandoned house at night. Posted by Ka Records in 2010, the team is exploring an abandoned house at night when they zoom in on a corner of the room. In that dark corner, behind various obstructions, appears a creepy girl doll. The disturbing sight causes them to race from the room. Wouldn't you? I don't think they had any other choice. A YouTuber named Tim Wells is out bow hunting with his friends when a flock of geese appear directly overhead. One of them aims and takes fire without properly taking the angle of his shot into account. Oh, watch this arrow. This arrow's straight up. It's coming right for us. He shoots roughly 90 degrees into the air and you can actually hear the projectile cutting through the wind like a missile as it heads back towards their exact position. It somehow lands roughly 10 feet in the middle of all of them and they barely get away. Judging from the size of the arrow, there's no way any of them would have survived a direct hit. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by MasterAllen73, this redditor wrote, Me and my girlfriend are asleep at 3.55 a.m. When the door closes on its own, there is a door stopper holding it in place. I'm always very skeptical of the paranormal and other footage I have captured, but this one. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. ASAP Rab wrote, I'm sure you've noticed, but just after 31 seconds, there's some kind of particle or orb going straight up near the bathroom entrance. Creepy footage. And the uploader replied saying, Honestly, I had not noticed it. I'd been concentrating on the door looking for shadows. While well, TCG Games wrote, how many days do you wake up and your door is closed? Was the heater or the air conditioner on? Has this happened in the past? And the uploader replied saying no. This was the first time in 8 months. With or without the AC running, it's never closed on its own. Can you think of any other explanation for this footage? I think there's a good chance there's a ghost also in this bedroom. 
This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood and tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water. Here with uh, some specialist, Carl Parker. So if you want to stay on and uh, have a listen, Carl's been looking at that. Uh A worm-like creature appears to wind its way around a house shortly before the camera zooms out. While this could be an ordinary piece of driftwood from the way it's moving in the water, I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters caused some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. A home security camera caught this scary sight in Corvina. Posted by Ruby Gonzalez in December of 2018, Ruby writes, Two individuals tried to enter a home. One knocked on the door and called out the resident's first name several times. The family was home at the time. You can see one of the men approach with his hood up and a kerchief covering his mouth, wearing a backpack. He knocks on the door, waiting with his head down, likely aware of where the security camera is located. A second dude also approaches, dressed in the same fashion. He's carrying a crowbar. They knock a second and third time, alerting a small dog inside. When a car passes, they both turn to look down the street and ensure there are no witnesses. He knocks several more times, saying, come on, bro. But the second dude eventually taps him on the arm, indicating it's time to give up and leave, which thankfully they do. Whatever they came for, they left empty-handed. This video captures a total stranger on a bridge waving hello to rush hour traffic in a full clown outfit. A stranger waving to no one in particular is creepy enough, but take a look at its arm. Maybe it's just the angle, but the arm seems way too long and thin to belong to any person. Slow it down at the 15 second mark, and you can see the forearm alone looks to be the same length as a normal person's entire arm. Bedjul TV claims to have recently made contact with the supernatural world during a live stream taken at a haunted graveyard in Indonesia. He lights some incense and then weird things are caught on camera with absolutely no wind blowing. Forty seconds later is when it happens. Paranormal contact. Hello. Hello. I would say this has to be special effects, except for one thing. These scary moments were caught on live stream with a live chat that was amazed at the ghost sighting. Even with that said, I still think this video could have been pre-recorded because he never seems to directly address what the chat has to say, nor does he call anybody by their screen name, all of which indicates this video might not be live. The ghost doesn't say anything to him. At 15 minutes and 58 seconds, it reaches out to him shortly before disappearing back to wherever it came from. This could simply be a digital image of somebody superimposed over the video, but I'll wait to see what you have to say before making my final decision on this one. Lewis Clark and his friends want to check out this old abandoned train up close to see what's in it. All the train cars are mostly empty, but then they see something horrible in the caboose. What the f What is that? Oh, what? What the f Oh my god. The sheets are covered in red splotches and appear to have something heavy underneath them, but Lewis Clark and his friends don't dare unwrap them. They run away from the scene as fast as possible instead, jumping over a second sheet in the process. What was under these sheets, if anything, is anyone's guess, though many have speculated that both incidents could have been covering an actual body. As far as I know, Lewis Clark and his friends have not returned to unwrap the sheets, and they probably never will. Usually when you're in solitary confinement, you're, well, solitary. This TikTok video shows that's not always the case.
In the video, an inmate stands behind bars. He's looking out through the bars and is supposed to be alone. But when he steps out of the way, a dark figure appears to be crawling on the floor behind him. It moves out of the way, blocking itself from view behind the inmate. The figure looks human-shaped but not really human. Many in the comments believe it could be the inmate's demon that landed him in prison. Others think it's the negative energy attached to him. I guess the odds of an actual person sneaking into jail are unlikely. What do you think is going on here? A Texas A&M University student in Corpus Christi, who goes by the name of Fiferty Soar, has been hearing noises in his dorm room for quite some time. What began as an occasional knocking noise now, months into the semester, has developed into persistent paranormal sounds, stuff like footsteps coming from an empty room. This red line at 15 seconds is where the far wall is, so like I said, no one is in there, except for a poltergeist. No one could have lifted this mattress, because the room is too small for anyone to hide. Next to the mattress is a closet that's empty and that's it, nothing else. Now the bathroom door opens and closes, yet he finds no one inside of the tiny space either, and this area is even smaller than the room before. In all fairness, there are two seconds of darkness from 46 seconds to 48 seconds that I guess could mark a spot where he might have stopped recording, let someone out of the bathroom, and then started recording again to make it look empty. I didn't see any such transition in the first room with the mattress, so my gut instinct says this event is real. Now this may sound far-fetched, but this TikTok will leave you terrified. Shared by TikTok Paranormal and originally posted by Um Sam, I guess, this young woman was scaring her sister when she, herself, was scared by a shadow. But not just any shadow. Hey. Let's go get my sister. Hey, Jared. Watch out. Watch for the shadow person here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Got you, me. Good. You. Go, 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 go. Did you see it? Oh my god, Danny, 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 Danny. What, 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 what? Literally, someone just ran in here, I think. Huh? Someone just ran in your room. Is it an intruder or a paranormal figure? I can't tell for sure, but if this video hasn't made you pee your pants, I don't know what will. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy, a dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror. Considering he has editing software, I think this could possibly be photoshopped. But if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. A YouTuber named Victor Curry 30 is having a cake eating contest with oversized spoons. When one of them gets their utensil wedged deeply inside their mouth, they all find the situation somewhat amusing until they realize there's no easy way to pull it out of her mouth. What is especially troubling is how they have to shove the spoon even farther in so they can get the right angle for removal. It looks like she comes awfully close to not being able to breathe here. A man in Indonesia goes exploring the most haunted places of his home country to unlock supernatural myths of a different official nature, hence the channel's name. Out here, the ghost world has formed communities deep in the rainforest. He knows this place well and senses one near. Allah. 
<laughs> Standing before him is an eerie apparition that gives me anxiety like something has gone wrong. The paranormal exploration does not end with him running away. He has become strangely at ease around them, less terrified over time, or maybe okay with them all along. <sighs> After a little more exploring, our adventurer finds a second spirit and does not come as near. He might be afraid, but I think he's simply respecting their space. I did some research and this creepy video looks like a possibly real ghost sighting of a Pokong spirit. Seen mostly in Indonesia and Malaysia, it's said that the spirit's appearance under the shroud depends on the current state of their physical body. In other words, if he were to look underneath, he would see how rotten they were. But he dares not do such a thing. These are his ancestors and he might have wanted to show us that there are real ghost videos on the internet if you know where to look and that a ghost haunting the woods doesn't automatically mean it's one of the scariest places in the world. It's a really good point, but this scary video's got me freaked out nonetheless. A YouTuber named Johnny B. Good goes ghost investigating at an underground memorial deep in the woods to see if they can uncover any evidence of the paranormal. They notice these rocks are in a strange formation that I think could have been used for some kind of black magic. These rocks were placed here in a circle once, yeah. in this one corner. Why is there a hole right there? Sure enough, holes are in two corners of the room. Could this be part of the spell? They ask if this place is a portal, and look what their K2 meter does in response. Wait, is that a gateway to you? Yeah, okay. And here's where it goes from creepy to downright sinister. Their UV light detects two blotches of fluid. They could have come from some kind of vein opening ritual that never should have been. A YouTuber named Texas Savage has traces of paranormal activity left outside her bedroom door, or so she claims. Look at this part and tell me if you can see what she means. And if you can't see it, it's much more apparent in this next video of hers that I'm about to show. You can see it a bit better here as she points out the individual fingers and notices the lack of a thumb. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. But there's no thumb. In this next video taken on a different day, you can get a better look at the handprints and see how long the fingers really were, far too big to be on her own. And since she claims to live alone, it can't be anyone else unless someone has been going into her bedroom without her knowing. On this day, she also finds some fresh scratches not too far from where the handprint is. And while inspecting the rest of her house, she finds two new marks at the bottom of her bathroom door that are perfectly aligned, almost like eyes. If you don't think this is real, then what do you think caused this? Just like all of the other markings, she can recall nothing happening in this room to make them appear overnight. This YouTube clip serves as video evidence of just how daring some people can be, or brave, if you look at it the other way. The footage is likely recorded in Russia's Far East, where a large population of bears roam free. Bears that have been known to wander into residential areas. In the video, one of these bears has done just that. A big brown bear is seen pacing around an empty lot, while a Russian man just sits calmly on a bench, not making the faintest effort to move or protect himself. In fact, he seems completely unfazed by the wild animal just feet from him. Surprisingly, the wild bear seems more scared of the Russian than this man is of the bear. As the bear roams closer toward him, he suddenly darts away. Though the man never moves an inch, while most people would be shaking in their britches, in an all-out panic when within sight of a bear, this Russian man doesn't flinch, maybe we can learn something from him. If you should ever be unfortunate enough to encounter this wild animal, it's best not to panic. Just don't be as nonchalant as this guy. This next one will make anyone terrified of exploring the backwoods ever again. Redditor Mutt Magician shares this pair of creepy videos to Reddit. He writes, I was in the backwoods of Oklahoma when I found a random shed full of children's clothes and dolls. Unfortunately, this was all I filmed.
The video shows a doll missing a leg and with its head and arms discolored with dirt, it seems like the doll is quite fragile because he breaks it with a small squeeze. The Redditor writes that after finding the doll, he explored further and found an abandoned shed with children's clothes, dolls, and backpacks. In a follow-up video, the Redditor takes viewers to where he found this abandoned shed. For some reason, I kept expecting a jump scare in this follow-up. Well, I didn't jump, I think this is incredibly scary. What were these dolls there for? Why were they in such disrepair? I have so many questions about this one, and very few answers. Something lives in the dark corners of this abandoned Catholic school. Published by Exploring with Big D in January of 2022, a paranormal team is exploring the school when they hear something unholy. Listen closely at the very beginning of the video, you'll hear an animalistic growl. It sounds like it's coming from the belly of the beast. The guys don't seem to notice it as they're filming, but they certainly did after reviewing the footage. After seeing how empty this school appears, where do you think this mysterious growl came from? It appears for now the answer to this question will remain a mystery. Watch how this ghost is working out. It's moving by itself, just like somebody's sitting there. This outdoor workout station is moving all by itself, or so it seems. I think someone could be moving it with wires off camera. At the beginning, he shows this zoomed-in shot, but it's vertical, so there is plenty we can't see. I'm not saying this video isn't real. I'm just saying I would be more convinced if he showed the entire street to prove that no one else was around. When you're driving home exhausted at the end of the long day, stay conscious and keep your eyes peeled. You might just see this. This supernatural clip was posted in April of 2020, claiming it's a real sighting on a haunted roadside. So let's take a look and see for ourselves. The clip shows someone driving down a dirt road in the near darkness. As they turn a corner, a dark figure barely visible can be seen crossing the path. On closer inspection, the figure looks long-limbed and big-eyed with a strangely shaped skull. It crosses slowly before sitting down at the side of the road. If human, what is this strange behavior? If not, any theories as to what this creature might be? Whether paranormal or some earthly figure, running into this near dusk might be enough to end your life. This creepy selfie photobomb is making my skin crawl. Posted on TikTok by WINIRGTA, this woman is taking a selfie in the mirror. When something freaky enters the picture, a small toddler sized figure toddles past behind the woman but does not reappear on the other side of her. The figure moves fast and looks to be a slightly grayish tinge. Is this just the woman's younger sibling making an unexpected cameo? Or does she have a supernatural elf on her hands. This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko vlogs to Devil's Forest and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. Bro? What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Alright. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just... What is it for? Jasko is right that it's not natural. Shortly after, they feel like they're being followed. Walking towards us right now. Um, I don't know if it's that same person, but let's get out of here. 
While I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. While filming some footage in an old hotel corridor for a project, Redditor I am not the problem captured something unexpected. Look for the pale blobby thing floating in the middle of the hallway. Did you see it? The Redditor says it's not a bug, and they weren't wearing any reflective jewelry. Still, Redditors have some plausible theories. The more I watch the clip, The more I logic my way toward the mere hypothesis, a tropical storm has passed through here, and aside from causing a messy yard, this family seems to have been largely spared from the bad weather, or so they think. <laughs> Luckily, everyone is alright and fortunately the tree didn't go through their house. So if you live near the woods and have a serious storm pass through, remember, this scary CCTV video is exactly why you wait until it's dry before going outside. This footage, published by Paranormal World in August of 2019, shows a scenic mountain and forest opposite an overpass. After completing a full 360 to take it all in, the camera falls to the cars whizzing past below before returning to the mountain. This time, the mountain isn't the only thing carving out the sky. A Godzilla-like creature peeks out from behind the mountain. At first, one might mistake it for the mountain itself, but it slowly begins to move, voiding that theory. While many in the comments say this is a good edit, some are more concerned by the man's reaction. YouTuber Dap writes, if there is a Godzilla, you are running, not chewing gum. That's probably true, although other people note that the creature is friendly, so perhaps the cameraman had no need to fear him. Still, seeing a creature the size of a mountain would probably get your heart pumping, friendly or not. A Reddit user named Necromimi posted this CCTV of a ghost captured at her friend's home. A translucent figure walks back and forth from one side of the room to the other multiple times, often fading from sight about midway across and reappearing a few feet away. After a while, it becomes slower and moves in place, eventually fading away into an orb that floats up towards the camera and disappears. The remarkable timing of this event rules out any possibility of a glitch, which makes me suspect that this was either some clever editing or truly paranormal. A few days ago, strange sounds started coming from an old shower stall in this house that Alejandro has not used in years. He wasn't sure if it was rats or something, so he went up there with a camera and this scary sighting is what's been caught on video. Twenty seconds after showing us nothing was in the shower, this ghostly figure presses against the glass, flies upwards and disappears. This almost has to be CGI because there are absolutely no editing cuts, and the way they fade away doesn't look like somebody simply stepping away from the glass. He reinvestigates and the shower is just as empty as before. Something is active in this quiet home. Published by Memoria Supernatural Inc. in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator searches this haunted place, and it seems like an unknown entity is searching him right back. And then the entity grows aggressive after coming across stacked chairs in one of the rooms. They collapse before the man's very eyes. He then witnesses a faucet turn on by itself. 
It flows full blast. As the ghost hunter tries to catch some sleep, what looks like a mattress falls against the wall. Later, he encounters this shadow figure in the hallway, and then another lurking in the corner of a room. Is something hiding in this curtain behind him? Before you start to panic, nah, just go ahead and panic. It's the time for it. Cookstown is considered one of the scariest and most haunted places in Ontario, and weird things like this creepy unexplained photograph is one of the many reasons why. On July 30th, 2015, a paranormal investigator took a picture of a store named The Workshop that I think needs a closer look. Take a look at this photo and tell me if you see anything weird. If not, things are about to get creepy for you. Here's a close-up of the same picture to help you see it better. A giant frowning face takes up the top right window of the building. Tell me if you think this is paranormal or a coincidence. It would have been interesting to return the next day and see if the face was still there, but considering this happened years ago, I guess we will never get that opportunity. I reached out to this channel for more info, and they now think it was shadows cast from a warped wooden frame. I'll take their word for it, but I'm not sure how warped wood would cause this extra eerie face to appear. I guess sometimes the explanation to an unsolved thing can be quite bizarre. A woman is driving in the woods at night when she hears this. Published by Bigfoot's Testimony, this poor soul caught a truly frightening encounter on camera. The footage shows a woman heading home late at night when she pauses for a moment after hearing something. She starts driving forward again, but then after stalling in the middle of the road, she hears this horrifying scream. Oh my god, no. F that. The sound freaks her out so much, she speeds off. Many in the comments are saying lots of animals make scary noises in the wild. Some think this could be a bobcat. Others say it's obviously the ghost lady of the woods. While many are getting horror movie vibes, perhaps those most familiar with the forest can explain. Any park rangers here? I'm sure your opinion can help us solve this mystery. While streaming live at a New Orleans graveyard at night on February 8th, 2020, Franco TV encounters not the undead, but the living. In the beginning, he describes his first encounter with a man in the graveyard, explaining that he'd been warned that thieves in New Orleans like to come after people who explore the city's graveyards at night. He said he'd encountered this man twice already in this episode, explaining that the man was on foot, had a book bag and approached him, passed him, and then circled around while he was outside of his car walking through the mausoleum. He feels a bit shaky from this encounter and says he doesn't know if he's going to exit his vehicle again, but he follows his audience's risky advice and does anyway. As Franco is out, walking around the creepy stone grave solo, he starts to feel unsafe again and after a time returns to his car. He is examining an above ground crypt from his vehicle when he hears some footsteps. He continues to drive around the cemetery saying he heard something from behind his car that sounded like a knocking. He says he can't get out of his car again because he thinks someone else is there. In fact, there he is. After turning around, Franco zooms in on a man walking toward him down the cemetery road. What is this man doing in a graveyard at night? Is he too live streaming for YouTube? It certainly doesn't look like it. Franco doesn't know what to do but continued to drive, passing the guy seemingly without issue. 
He speeds up, getting out of the graveyard as quickly as possible. As he tries to find the exit, he says the man was literally chasing after his car. He says he felt the man hit the back of it, and as he flees, explains that he must get out of there and find a safe place. He then warns viewers not to enter a New Orleans graveyard at night, as if we needed any warning after watching this. A YouTuber named Nathan Laird posted this video as a warning to others to stay away from a woman whose behavior really freaked him out. He's riding around his neighborhood in Vacaville, California, when he says a woman throws garbage on the ground. This bothers him so he picks up the trash and follows her to re-deliver it, along with a valuable message about littering. Excuse me? I think he dropped this. What? There's a fucking tree. Give it. I have a little Watch again and it appears that she tries to rip his camera off, and after that fails, she smacks at it out of anger. She's eating an orange and probably dropped part of the peel on the ground, which you could argue isn't as severe as littering other things. But still, this is just a little kid who is trying to do what he thought was right, so there's no reason to react like this. She could have apologized or politely told him it's biodegradable, but instead she physically touches him, which does not seem appropriate since she's supposed to be the adult here. Okay, listen to this Buzz Lightyear toy and tell me what you hear wrong. I am Buzz Lightyear to it has a deep voice at times, which is strange enough, but the real problem is that his AAA batteries died, people. Ironically, a toy that's based on a movie about toys coming to life appears to have actually come to life itself. The longer he records, the more twisted and deranged the toy becomes. God. The collectible toy belongs to a YouTuber named Joe Bean Videos, and I have little reason to doubt what he says. With that said, Joe Bean Videos doesn't actually show us that the AAA batteries are not working. God. He could have put them in another device to demonstrate that they are drained. Also, I once heard that toys can sometimes hold a small charge even after okay. the batteries have died. Since this video goes on for quite some time, however, I oh. doubt this is what is happening here. Something is watching, but what that is, we don't know. TikToker Axel Loza Official shares this creepy video captured in these boys' room at night. Two boys are seen sitting straight up in bed, staring at something. Aquí están mis hermanos. What are they looking at? Well, you're about to find out. A childlike face is peering out from a frosted closet window, but when the cameraman goes to open it up, this happens. Where did she go? While well, I would be hiding in the comments with everyone else, I'm going to check all my closets real quick first. A lot of children have had the misfortune of being singled out and picked on by their own personal bully, but there's one child in Spanish Town, Jamaica, who has had the worst luck of all. He says that they are being bullied by an evil spirit and his parents and local town all believe him. Plus, there's video evidence for proof. His face has been blurred out to protect his dark secret. One video shows him sitting in a chair with his family. After being asked a few questions, the ghost decides to take control of the situation. Although he could have been pushing off the ground with his feet, you can't see the floor in this video so it's hard to tell. One thing is for sure though, look closely and you can see the boy's hand right arm fly straight up in the air. It's definitely as if he's being grabbed by the wrist and jerked straight back. If he is faking it, then he is a very good actor. Okay, take a look at the second video and tell me what you think. He is just standing against a wall in his neighborhood when all of a sudden... <laughs> Yeah, 
You can clearly see his whole body in this video as the left leg suddenly shoots up, almost as if someone is pulling him by the foot. Again, if this is fake, then he is a great actor with even better balance. It looks like he really is about to fall flat on his face until his mother rushes in to save him. If a ghost really happens to be crossing over into the material realm and grabbing a hold of his shoe here, no one knows exactly why. Still, the local bishop has no doubt that this relentless ghost bully is real. Crazy George's Bridge is the name of a legendarily haunted location in Tennessee. This bridge overlooks the very same tracks that a man named George once wandered onto and met a terrible fate. Now George's angry ghost chases away anyone who says his name three times. Strange magic rituals are also said to be practiced out in the woods to honor his name, and so paranormal activity has become a regular occurrence over the years. Tonight a brave YouTuber named Mads Entertainment is ready to settle the legend of Crazy George once and for all, and so he goes on a paranormal exploration of the bridge at night from the top to bottom. Crazy George. Crazy George. Crazy George. The sound of an approaching engine turns out to be nothing more than oncoming traffic. They refuse to give up the ghost hunt and try to address the paranormal directly by speaking into the night sky. If anyone's here, you can come speak into my camera. They are positive that these sound like the noises of a little ghost girl screaming in the woods, possibly a manifestation of black magic rituals in the past. I'm not so sure because I think it could be an animal. Here's the sound again. Let me know what you think this scary voice in the darkness belongs to. In this video, two planes appear to be carelessly flying way too close to each other for almost a full minute and I don't know why. I can't believe this would be planned, but at the same time I can't believe none of the passengers on a commercial airliner are screaming if this is happening. I've never flown a plane before, but I know that you're way too close when you can see what color shirt the pilot of the other plane is wearing. Someone tell me what's going on here, because it looks like total chaos in my opinion, but also possibly planned, like maybe a formation for an air show or something. Florida resident Candace Spivey was shopping at Target when she was approached by a stranger. This man started a polite conversation with her, but something was wrong. The same man had done the same thing to her earlier at a grocery store. Do you remember running into me in the grocery store? No, hey, where are you going? Come back. Hey, get this guy. Stop him. Stop this guy. Stop him. Stop that guy. Call the cops. Call the cops on him. Call the cops. As soon as she confronts the man on it, he takes off and she follows him out of the store. Apparently, this was a registered offender who secretly recorded women. This just goes to show you never know who the real person is behind a polite stranger. Hopefully this man stopped his horrible actions after being publicly confronted like this. This video was recovered from a cell phone left behind by a hotel guest who is in an extra hurry to leave for some reason. He's taking a random video when some chilling moments are caught in his hotel room. Just being hand traveling, watching some <laughs> A dark shadow passes in front of him without a sound. The way he was talking out loud to himself makes it sound like he was talking to himself when the mysterious figure makes him gasp out loud and drop the phone. This situation wouldn't be too hard to fake. All you'd need is someone to walk in front of you and act scared, so it might not be real. But if this footage was really found by the next guest, like the description claims, then that's beyond creepy. A ghost hunter in India named Grey Wolf describes exploring this haunted school as unexplainable, a terrifying event that has left him never the same. They set up a summoning circle in one of the most haunted places in the whole school. Tell me what they are saying because it sounds like a kind of ritual spell, one that seems to work all too well. <laughs> Can you do it? 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 Can you do
They need to go back and end the ceremony or be haunted forever, so they regather themselves and march back to the room as one. Tell me what he says to the spirit to make this happen. <laughs> Apparently, the spirit never wants to be unsummoned, and so it's taken the candles away. Or maybe Grey Wolf simply covered the camera with his hand to make it look like the candles went out, at which point he stopped recording, removed the candles from the circle, and began recording again. If there's no editing, though, then you have to agree this is beyond scary. What you discover when out late at night can make your skin crawl. Posted to Reddit, the Redditor writes, People are saying it could be a skinwalker. The on-screen caption reads, Something weird is happening in my town. And after watching the video, you'll agree with that statement. The video begins with something hopping on all fours over a hill while roaring in an animalistic manner. It's hard to tell what the thing is at a distance, human or animal. The second clip in the series reads, Dude, something is in the shed at Desert Willow, and it certainly sounds like it. Something is beating against the barred doors of a shed at night. <laughs> There's also a terrifying growling voice heard, though its words are inaudible. It's difficult to tell if the thing is human, but it continues to beat at the walls of the shed. Part 2 of the video series reads, Stay away from Dynamite Park. In it, barking, howling, and wailing are heard. It doesn't sound like a dog, nor does it sound human. Again, the video captures an unidentified creature at a distance, racing around on all fours. Could this be a skinwalker? Don't stick around to find out. Nevertheless, it appears some serious mysteries are taking place in that town. A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known only as Hai claims to have caught a real jinn on camera while exploring an abandoned house that he knows is haunted. I can't tell if this is a gap in the curtains or a ghost in the window. He presses onwards and reaches the second floor before things get beyond creepy. <laughs> Something paranormal is making movements. Bismillah. and staying one step ahead of the paranormal explorer at all times. Bismillah, bismillah, ladhi la yadhurru ma ismi shay. The excited ghost hunter runs from room to room trying to keep up, praying for strength all the while. Bismillah, bismillah, rahman, rahim. Bismillah, rahman, rahim. As the ghost apparently runs into a tall cabinet, I can't help but wonder if it's just as afraid as he is. Bismillah. <laughs> Cornered and with nowhere to go, the spirit finally has to rely on its supernatural defenses to get out of there quickly. Bismillah, <laughs> Scary noises are heard all around, doors shutting, cabinets opening, and soon a strange and bizarre paranormal mist floods the room. It's hard to say if this was real paranormal activity or dust kicked up from him throwing objects everywhere, but I think it's probably real and most certainly is creepy. Redditor ZZZ747 writes, It happened again. As the Redditor explains it, they posted a video months ago noting that a neighbor's CCTV camera captured something strange, and in this post, we're seeing it for a second time.
What do you think this white mist could be? Many in the comments think it's fog rolling through. Others suggest that the neighbor could be vaping. Still, others think it looks like the outline of a person or a ghost. What do you think it is? I'm not 100% sold that it's supernatural, but that doesn't mean it could be. Though judging by the Redditor's title, this isn't the first time this has happened. If this is captured again, maybe we'll be able to get more concrete answers. Dennis and Tim of Nerve Paranormal return to the Atkinson Manor to see if there's anything they've missed their first time around. There certainly is something they've missed before, and it definitely does not miss them. They are first greeted by a stuffed animal that I don't think was there before. It looks much less dusty than the steps around it, and therefore was probably put there recently. Nerf Paranormal could have put that there themselves though, so even though it's creepy, it's also easily disproven. Less easy to disprove, however, is when they hear this commotion while holding a spirit box session. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something runs up the steps moments before the door opens, yet no one is there. When they return downstairs, they find this blue kid's chair, shown briefly at 3 minutes and 50 seconds, is now part of a neatly arranged circle at 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Just as they are wondering how the chairs got this way, they get their answer. <sighs> This still frame, taken in a flash of his camera at 17 minutes and 44 seconds, shows the chairs one second before they pull away. You can see no strings running on the floor whatsoever. I don't see how this is possible unless they put magnets on the bottom of these chairs and slid them across the ground from one floor below, which requires four different people and a lot of effort. Instead of running away to somewhere safe, they stand their ground, which seems to make the ghost of the manor grow even more displeased. <laughs> then again, this object just so happens to be within kicking distance of the cameraman, so maybe he did it himself and then acted surprised. When Tim and Dennis decide to leave a minute later, they hear four footsteps and the doors open. This could be a spirit or it could be their friends. I think it could be real considering they eventually chose to escape off the roof and risk falling to get out of there. While sitting around playing video games, little did this guy know he was about to be in one. Published by C. Sano Act in November of 2011, this guy was hanging out in the living room when he heard something from the kitchen. Getting up to check it out, he doesn't seem to see anything of substance, but something of substance knocks him to the floor. He's dragged across the room and out of sight. Is this ghost hinting that he should get his homework done? Or does this house have a serious poltergeist in residence? It'd be hard to ignore after an incident like this. YouTuber Hassan Barbar writes that the Jinn of the Stick is the strongest thing in the world of the Jinn, and he's captured it on video. Let's take a look. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Soon, you can hear the djinn moaning nearby. <laughs> and finally, Hassan comes across the djinn's stick. <laughs> Hassan follows the sound of a bottle being kicked around, but he finds nothing. Huh. 
Is the Jin up to his games again? I think he just might be, and if that's the case, Hassan had better be careful. The Jin is around every corner. A person is making a video in the woods about their fort when they catch something bizarre that leaves them screaming in horror as they run away. An unknown creature charges at them on all fours. At 45 seconds, you can see its arms are as long as its legs. In other words, not proportionate to a human at all. This video, taken in Texas, looks like it could be one of the many rake sightings that have recently been popping up again across the world. Most rake sightings show the creature screeching from afar. If that is what's captured here, then this video shows how quiet it can be for the element of surprise. The Chernobyl power plant left this place covered in radiation in 1986. Only recently was a small part reopened for tourism in 2011. The rest is still too radiated and therefore off limits. Russian YouTuber Vlad Reznov wants to test these limits. He goes exploring the woods and finds an old abandoned cottage. That would be perfect for a 24-hour challenge. Night falls. Roving clicks are rumored to be out here. Families aggressively changed by radiation who don't like outsiders, and they know he's here. They can't get inside because he's tied the doorknob to the bedpost so they can't go around the outside. <laughs> now is his chance. He opens the door while they are trying to get in through a window. Not sure if there is more waiting for him inside and expecting to get jumped around every corner. The bike is outside. He has to get to his bike. He makes it out of there, but there is an overall lack of urgency to this video that makes me think it could be fake. We don't ever get to see this mutant family, so it could be one of his friends opening the door. They probably found an abandoned house and thought it would be a good place for a scary video, but I guess we'll never know for sure. A motorcyclist named Motor Two Wrist is biking through India when he misses his turn and gets lost. Now it's threatening to rain and his bike's narrow high beams are his only source of light. Motor Two Wrist is already close to losing his composure when he sees something that pushes him completely over the edge. Some stranger rushes at him from the side of the road. Keep in mind that it's 10 at night and there's apparently no villages around for miles. The pedestrian would have to be out of their mind to travel down a dark road in bad weather without so much as a flashlight to guide their way. Moto Tourist is positive that he's seen a ghost and quickly speeds off, though it might have been someone in distress. We'll never know what the situation was for sure, but I'd like to get your opinion nonetheless. This CCTV video comes from somewhere in China. A person off camera shines a flashlight all around a building entrance, obviously searching for something of interest. When they stop a short while later, this creature makes a rather daring escape. Slow down the video and you can see what many are describing as some sort of dragon. This doesn't seem very likely and is probably CGI, but if this is a real spirit, then I guess it could take whatever form it wanted, including that of a dragon. A local journalist is covering the wintry weather in Springfield, Massachusetts, when a much more interesting story pops up behind her. 6.15 to 6.30, it has not let up at all. It is coming down pretty steadily here in Springfield. You can The creature looks slow and powerful as it lumbers towards them. Bad weather or not, I find it hard to believe that a monster would just walk around a busy town without some sort of immediate police response. 
It doesn't look like computer generated effects, so this was likely just a person in a costume. Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit, redditor the cheese is moist writes, if I'm tripping then don't come at me in the comments, but is that star changing colors? In the video he zooms in on a star in the distance. The closer the zoom, the more clear it is that the star is rapidly changing colors. I've never seen a star ever do this before. For. Is it a satellite? Or is there something more nefarious at play here? Published to YouTube by Proving Demons in May of 2020, the channel writes, We returned to the most haunted poltergeist school and captured insane paranormal activity on camera, from ghosts manifesting to things moving on their own as well as a strange incident of a supernatural nature. This haunted school in the United Kingdom is apparently known for its poltergeist activity. As with most abandoned and reputably haunted places, the school is in shambles, wrecked and damaged by trespassers, age, and maybe even the spirits that haunt the place. Once inside the school, the group of investigators hears a humming that they say sounds like a generator, which is strange since the power is shut off in the school. Through the video, strange noises are heard, knockings, a woman's wails, a sound like a shower is running. One of the spookiest sounds, though, which the crew seems to hear recurrently, is that of a young girl crying. At one point on the wall, they spot a message that reads, Dan PD. Could that message be directed at Dan from the Proving Demons crew? As they're examining the message, a noise is heard. Something from the ceiling fell out on its own, causing the lot of them to jump in fear. <laughs> Dude, where did that come from? In the basement, they tune into the spirit box. When asking if anyone is here, the spirit box answers, I'm here, mate. When asking where the spirit is, a voice says, Gymnasium. <laughs> what happened in the gymnasium of this school? Whatever did, it's not leaving. Jordan Powers sees something in the sky, and all his mom can do is get mad at him for it. What? What are you looking at? She doesn't see anything and thinks that he has lost his mind, but we can see them just fine. Mysterious lights, five of them all flying in a strange formation. Jordan describes these unexplained lights as silver in color and months later still has no idea what they were. It happened in Kelowna, a city in the Canadian province of British Columbia. Somebody from Virginia says they've seen the same lights and describes them as hiding in the clouds. I'll admit this short 13 second video is not a lot to go on, but what little evidence there is does look unedited and quite bizarre. Hopefully I can find a longer video taken by somebody else on the same day to confirm this sighting is real. Three masked men attempt a daring heist in Sydney, Australia at the Miller Shopping Center. They are in the middle of taking jewels when literally everyone in the store decides they are not going to take this, and soon the men find themselves running for their lives. Customers and staff join together and chase the men out of the mall. Not even the fact one of the masked men is holding a sledgehammer is enough to hold back the angry vigilante mob. The three masked men flee into a red van and speed away with the mob close behind, with so many similar instances caught on video. It's quite a surprise to see everyone join in to chase off the robbers for once. A devious Dora doll goes exploring this house in a freaky, paranormal way. The moving figurine is caught on camera doing some really weird things that probably weren't advertised on the back of the box. Creepy stuff like this. According to the uploader of this video, 
There were no batteries in this doll when Dora turns to face the camera like she's been caught. You must pay attention. But as one person pointed out, you can see the doll slowly turning its head for about 13 seconds before it snaps. The little girl is too busy singing to notice what's going on. Or maybe she's used to it happening by now. Then again, maybe there is somebody behind the door holding the doll in such a way that we can't see their hand. The goat man is a thing of urban legend. Something like a centaur. The goat-human hybrid is said to take refuge in the woods. Some say it's responsible for many missing dogs. Published by Hype Mike in March of 2021. This paranormal crew is in search of the mythical creature in Goatman Forest. Half of them rush back to the cabin after hearing something out in the forest behind them. As the other half continue on. A ginormous crash or something behind us. And we ran back to the cabin. <laughs> Wait, what? Something cracked right behind us. A huge tree or something. And we ran back to the cabin. They find red liquid in the snow. And I think we can all imagine what it might be. Did some animals have a scuffle? Or was it something else? After being scared off by the roaring, the crew comes upon some even more scary evidence that something's gone wrong. This doesn't look like an animal's doing. Was it some ritualistic sacrifice? I mean, I guess. Like, there's like blood on the tree and shit. Ew, what the heck? Deeper in the forest, they hear the spine tingling howl. Uh, hello? Repeat that? Did you hear that? And once they gather together again, they realize an axe has gone missing. Did the goat man take it? The crew decides to invite the goat man to the party with this chant, and they really shouldn't have. Okay, ready? Ready? Goat man, goat man, we, we offer, offer our, our blood, blood to you. Please, please accept and show, show yourself to me. Is that it? Later, while they're chilling at the cabin, one of the crew hears something. Uh, I hear something really freaking creepy, and I just need to know if you guys can hear that. No, well, I didn't hear anything. Well, we're inside. Yeah. Uh, we do not hear anything over. Oh. Then they see something outside. What is it? Although I'd wager it being the goat man, we currently don't know for sure. What's up? What's what? What? Did you see that? No. See what? Outside. Oh, wait. Just turn the light off. What's that? The feeling that you're being watched, aside from your virtual viewers, I mean. YouTuber Scary Field shared this freaky live stream, which is trending in the Hindi speaking YouTube community. A woman was recording a live stream, but she didn't realize she already had an audience. Watch the doorway behind her. A shadowy figure passes by. It appears semi-transparent without substance. When the woman gets up to check on it, she's in for a rude awakening. I'm guessing this isn't the type of subscriber she wanted, but to be fair, maybe the ghost just wanted her own 15 minutes of fame. The original source of this video is unknown, but I suspect it's from a movie. That being said, what would you do if this happened to you? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.